Hello there. I get very intense about documenting my life digitally. It doesn't have to be public. I just have very thorough records of everything I do, including reading. I have an Excel spreadsheet that has all the books I've ever read to my memory uh, with all sorts of information, colours of the spines, ISBNs, word count. I'm a dork. And I thought as the year had changed, I could go about showing you some of my reading statistics from the last year, whilst also improving my skills in Adobe After Effects. Sorry, future Charlotte, I haven't done any of these visuals yet. <laughs> this year I read 70 books, which was over 24,000 words, well over 24,000 words. In fact, it was over 24,000 pages, over six and a half million words. So, so many words. And this is how it looks if you plot the month of the year against the date it was first published. So these are books that I read in January that were published in 2014. And then these are books that I read in December that were published, you know, before Christ. I think this is a really cool way of displaying what you've read because you can kind of see what your trends were throughout the year and where your gaps are. Massive gap in the middle. I spent two months in America and another month traveling after that so didn't get a lot of books read. I think I'm going to be doing the same thing next year, so I'll try and find more time to read next summer so that I don't have this raging gap next year. 57 of these books were fiction and only 13 non-fiction. That includes the start of my Great Ideas series. 42 of the books I read this year were in a physical format, either paperback or hardback. I only read two e-books, um, but let's face it, I only have a Kindle to read fan fiction. Those two were The Maze Runner and We Were Liars. Both, I just woke up one day and I was like, I really fancy reading this today and couldn't get hold of a physical copy. Um, I actually ordered We Were Liars and it came the next day. And then I listened to 26 audiobooks. I've always loved a good audiobook. I think they're a really good way to get through a large amount of content. Only three of the audiobooks I listened to weren't memoirs or series, and they were Lolita, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and The Goldfinch. I read five series this year. I reread, well, re-listened to Stephen Fry's audiobook of Harry Potter, as I probably do every year. I read and listened to A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin, didn't get to the last one though, we'll tackle that next year. In the last month I've been listening to the audiobook versions of Narnia, which I also haven't finished. Sigh. <laughs> I read the first Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy at the beginning of December and listened to the rest of them in audiobook format, read by Martin Freeman. They were excellent. And at the beginning of the year I read all of the Divergent trilogy. Aside from Harry Potter, the only thing I reread this year was A Game of Thrones, because I think I read that in 2013 and then I needed to reread it this year so I could continue on with the series. I am now very confused and probably need to listen to all of it again to get back on the wagon and read Dance of Dragons. Uh. So let's talk about authors. The author that I read from most this year, not including series, was George Orwell. I read three of his novels. In second place was Haruki Murakami and Donna Tartt, both of whom I read two novels. Although my last book from 2013 was a Murakami, so it's almost as if I read three Murakamis this year. Out of all the books I've read this year, 20 have been by female authors and 50 by male authors. Ugh. I have been reading a lot of older works and classics when women weren't as prolifically published, but if you take away all the books that were published before the median date of all these books that was 1995, it's actually perfect 50-50%, 17 by women, 17 by men. Very good, even. In terms of authors' nationalities, not quite as diverse as I would want it to have been. 31 books by authors from the UK, 24 from America, two books from Japanese authors, two books by Russian authors, and one each from Canada, France, Germany, Switzerland, and Sweden. I'm not counting books that were published before the Middle Ages because that would get confusing. <laughs> so not a lot of diversity in terms of the author's origins. In the next year I'd like to read some books written by people from South America and Africa and more of Asia. And now I'm going to try and organise all the genres that I've read in 2014. This is going to be difficult. So sorry future Charlotte. <laughs> so as I see it I've read quite a lot of YA and quite a lot of science fiction and there is a big dystopian crossover between these two, but also I've read some fantasy young adult. I've read a little bit of contemporary young adult. Outside of young adult, I think I've read six autobiographical memoir style novels. I've read a few adult crime fiction and some fantasy as well as some other contemporary and classic stuff. This is a mess. This is going to be a mess. This is going to be such, 
just a big graph of mess. So those are all my statistics of reading in 2014. <sighs> my goal for 2015 is to read 80 books, but that includes a continuation of my Great Ideas series, which if I manage to do one every single week will take up 50. Um, but I'm going to be a little bit lenient with myself. It's encouraging to see that I'm reading books from quite a few different ages. Maybe I need to read less science fiction. Maybe I need to read more science fiction. I would like to have more diversity in the authors I'm reading from. I didn't read anything from non-binary gendered authors or from third world countries. I hope you've enjoyed this video and all of the effort I've put into doing the graphics for it. Sorry, future Charlotte. In the comments below, please leave me some of your resolutions for 2015. What do you want to read more of? What do you think you read too much of last year? Do you not care and just want to read whatever you want to read? That's cool. That's, that's probably a way more sane way of doing life. <laughs> I will see you soon.